Tonight, a devastating fire destroyed several homes in northwest suburban Carpentersville this evening. Massive fire required help from emergency crews as far as 20 miles away. WGN's Christine Flores spoke with one of the victims. Good evening. Behind me, you can see at least two of the structures that were involved in this evening's fire. Now, we spoke with one of the homeowners who tells me today also happens to be her birthday. And instead of celebrating, she's now trying to figure out what to do next after losing everything in this fire, including possibly her six month old kitten. Right now, it's mentally wearing on me a lot because I've never dealt with this before. Today is my birthday. On a day meant for celebrating, Don Fekita is dealing with the loss of a place she's called home for the last 16 years. I kept hearing all this popping, and I kept thinking, why is my neighbors lighting off fireworks? But then it sounded like it was right in my backyard. And I got off the bed, and the blinds are closed, so I kind of parted them, and I screamed to my fiance, I'm like, the house is on fire. Fekita's home was one of four structures engulfed by the flames, two detached garages and two homes. Officials were called to the scene just before 4.15 this evening to the 1700 block of Kingston Circle. Unfortunately, the houses are pretty close together and a lot of times just radiant heat um, from the wherever the first fire started will catch other things on fire uh, depending on the size of the fire that initially started. We went to a second alarm and we had about 25 different companies out here working from um, several different fire departments as far as Wakanda and Round Lake. Fire officials say the flames were put out within an hour. I couldn't find my kitten. I have a six month old cat who's in the house still. I don't think she made it. Um, so that's probably the most devastating thing. Neighbors made their way out to see the damage and offer help. I mean, what more can you ask for with a neighborhood? Do you know what I'm saying? Like everybody, yeah, they're all curious, but they all pulled together. And everybody's like came up. Are you okay? Do you need anything? What can we do for you? Well, Dawn isn't sure what the future holds for her, her fiance, and her two dogs, but she's grateful they all made it out safely. Most everything can be replaced. There's obviously things that mean so much to my heart that I can't replace. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. Fire officials say there were no injuries and that they are working with the Red Cross to assist those displaced families. Reporting in Carpentersville, Christine Flores, WGN News.